Hello, friends of Sudoku, and welcome to Apostle on SudokuExchange.com. This is one of their diabolical puzzles. I fully expect this to be difficult. These puzzles usually require one to find a chain of some sort, or a colored chain, or a bent triple, XY chain, or some other intricate pattern. So let's see how this one goes. First of all, we notice a couple of ones blocking up, and this therefore also is a one. A one blocks over and up, so a one must go here or here and therefore in one of these two squares. What else can we see? Well, we can see a five blocking down and across. So here is a five. We got two fives blocking across like so now, and a couple of fives blocking down. So here is a five. This five blocks across, so does this. This five blocks here. Here's another five. Two fives blocking up, one blocking over. Here's a five. And the last five, I believe, must go in this square here. We got eights here and here and A blocking up and across A here and here. What did we say about the ones? We said a one must go here or here, didn't we? Because this one blocks up, this one blocks across, one of these is a one blocking across, this one blocks across, so yes, here is a one. And this nine can't go here or here, so there must be a nine in this square, and this nine blocks down, so does this. Here's a nine. These must be a seven and a three now. And we also have a three here, so and a three here. So one of these is a three. Can we get any closer? Three, seven. two, four, and six. Two blocks up, therefore this is a two, this is a four, and a six. But the six blocks over, so this is a four, and this is a six. Any more luck with the sixes? Yes, a six blocks down, so here's a six. Six blocks over and down and down. One of these is a six. Six blocks down and over. One of these is a six. These must be four and nine for the simple reason that we have a four and a nine blocking these two squares. And that makes these two squares a seven and an eight. We also have a seven and then a here. So one of these is a seven. These are fours and nines. So a seven goes up here along with an eight. And seven, eight, one, two, three here. One, two, three, th two. I'm not seeing how to deal with that. Well, four must go here, here, because of this four, of course, and this. So four goes in one of these three squares along with an eight and a two. We got a two and an eight blocking across, so this definitely must be a four. Eight and two here now. Didn't we say that one of these must be an eight? Yes, we did. Now that one of these is an eight, this can't be an eight, so this must be an eight. And these being four and nine, I remember, makes this a seven. Seven blocks down and up, one of these is a seven. 
So we need a 7 for these three squares, at least for one of them. But I can't tell which one. 1, 2, and 7 here. 1 blocks up, 1 blocks over. Here's a 1. We know that the 7 blocks here, so here's a 7. This therefore must be a 2, and here we are looking for a 1 and a 3. The 1 blocks up, here's a 3, and here's a 1. 3 blocks down, giving me a 3 for this square. And here we are looking for a 2, 4, and a 8. 2, 4, and 8. That I don't know anything about. So we'll move on to something else, if we can find something else. Three squares missing here, a uh, 9, 3, and a 6. So the 9 must go in one of these squares, and therefore in one of these squares. 3, 6. It's not quite obvious. 3, 7 blocks here, but we can have a 3 and a 7 here. What else can we do with column 7? 3, 8, 7, 9. 8 here or here. 3, 7. So this is 8 or 9. 9 must go here or here. Am I spotting an X-wing kind of thing? 9. Nine, 9 here or here, right? Therefore here or here. No, I'm not spotting an X-wing because a 9 could... Well, hang on. A 9 blocks down. No, a 9 could go here, here or here. So I'm not seeing an X-wing. Two six eight nine here. There's a six nine, so this is a two eight. Eight nine. This is a two six. Two eight. This is a six nine. I'm feeling that I'm very close to something clever here, but I'm not quite seeing it. One three four nine here. This is a four nine. We know that. One four, this is a three nine. So a nine must go here or here. We got ones here, 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 and here. I think we have found a wing of some sort. And I'm looking at these squares here. This square must be a three or a nine. We are looking at these squares, and they must be a 3, 9, and a 6. We got a 6 blocking down the 3, 9 here. This square is also restricted. It cannot be a 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a 3, 9, and this is a 3 and a 9. And I think we can do something with that, because the only other square that can be a 9 I'm trying to isolate the nines here. Let me show where the nines can go in the center shoot. It can go here, here. It also can go here and here. And it can go here and here. Those are the only possible squares that a nine can go in the center shoot. What's important though is that these two squares here are the only ones that can take either a 3 or a 9. So I'm concerned with the 9s because we have more of those than the 3s. These squares can all be 9s. So if this is a 9, then it's clear that this can only be a 4 and this can be a 9. And that puts a 3 in this square, okay? So let's say that this is a 3. If this is a 3, it blocks down. This 3 blocks down. This 3 blocks over. 
Therefore, a three must go in this square. I think we can agree on that. If this is not a three, then it is a nine. And if this is a nine, then this must be a four and this must be a nine. And this again cannot be a nine. It must be a three. So whichever value this square has, this must be a three. Let me do that again. If this is a three, it blocks down naturally, and this blocks down naturally, and this blocks across, so this is a three. If this is not a three, then it must be a nine. If it is a nine, then this is a four. If this is a four, then this is a nine. And again, this cannot be a nine, it must be a three. So now we can put a three here, and we can put a nine here, a six here. This six blocks up, this six blocks over, here's another six. And we have a six blocking down and across, so here's the last six. Here we need a one, four, and a two. Unfortunately, that's all I can say about those. Nine must go here or here now, logging across. This nine blocks across, here is a nine. And that gives me a nine here, and therefore this is a four logging down. This four blocks down, a four goes here. Logging over, a four goes down, here is a four. A one and two here. One blocks down, here is the Two, here's a one. Two blocks over, here's the eight, here's a two. Eight blocks over and down, here's an eight. The last digit here must be a nine. Blocking up, blocking down, here's a nine. Two digits missing here, a seven and a three. This is also a 7-3 and a 7-3, so, and a 7-3. Lots of 7-3s here, huh? Here, a 2 and an 8. The 8 blocks here, so here's a 2, here's an 8. 8 blocks across and up, another 8 goes here and therefore here, making this a 7. 7 blocks down and up. 7 must go here, and therefore in one of these two squares. Here we are looking for a 2 and a 4. Let's do this one first. It's a 2, so that is a 2 here, and here's a 4, making this a 4. 1 and 3. No, 7 and 3 here. 7 blocks across, so here's a 3, here's a 7. Logging up, here's a three and a seven, and a seven, and here is a three. Three also must go here, and one here. That wasn't quite as diabolical as I would have expected. We did find the one three nine pair that opened up the puzzle for us, though, and that was quite interesting. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.